All right, throwback. Throwback's a fun one. You know, throwback is, is, is you know, we simply call it throwback because it's really mesh. All right, it's really a form of, of the mesh play. Um, but we call it throwback because we want to try to get the ball, obviously, thrown back across the field, which I'll, you know, I'll explain. And it, we got a lot of big plays off of this year. This was, you know, big play in the, you know, in the red zone, particularly low red zone, uh, two point conversions, um, you know, was it was a big play for us. Now we ran out of different formations, you know, but we like it out of double A. I like it with four immediate receivers, obviously close to the line of scrimmage rather than the halfback back in the backfield. I just think it makes it a little bit, you know, makes it a little bit cleaner, you know, for you. <clears throat> but basically on throwback, no one's pulling. So we have no lineman pulling. So again, we're up front, we're we're worth our base, you know, on the gap protection. Again, aggressive. Nice thing about it, you know, I'm going to spend a ton of time on pass protection and, and things like that. You're just going to gap it up, be sound, all right? But what we have route-wise, okay, now what we'll typically do here is we'll take this tailback and we'll put him into we'll jet motion across. So he'll jet across, and then he'll be responsible for sealing the edge here, okay, on throwback. So he'll actually end up sealing the edge. And what we end up doing in the backfield is we'll we'll open up, we'll reverse pivot with the quarterback, we'll get a good hard fake on the lead play, all right. And as we do that, the quarterback will end up fronting out. You know, it's important that he doesn't drop straight back after the fake. We want him to move towards the towards the play side, all right. And he should set up probably inside leg of the tackle. You know, when it's all said and done, and, and again, make sure he's getting nice and deep there on his drop. <clears throat> Route wise, tight end is going to release inside, occupy, hopefully get banged around and run a corner route. Again, so you've seen the tight end run a lot of corner routes here. And again, that, that's that's by design. All right. The swing man. Swing man is going to release vertical. And he is going to come underneath. If this was the end zone, he'd be two yards in front of the end line there. All right. So he'd be working there, the 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 basically the the back line of the end zone, about two yards from the from the out of bounds. The the halfback who's aligned in this position is going to insert himself inside the tight end. So look like he's blocking on these linebackers. He's going to avoid him though, and he's going to work over the top on the backside. He's going to run to grass. Okay, so he'll come out of there late. So that's why it's really important that you know we're fronting with the quarterback. We're reverse pivoting. We're selling the run hard. And again, we got a lot of action going this way. So we got the the motion, the jet motion, pulling people over here. We got the hard run fake. All right, we're really selling it. Linemen are firing out. This kind of looks like, you know, we'll run that G play like I talked about where we'll take him and go ahead and insert him on the linebacker, and we'll either kick out like this or we'll pull the guard, you know, and kick out, um, you know, for the fullback there. So it looks very similar to that. So, again, we're running a pass play that that's really, again, triggered – you know, off of off of one of our base run plays, but this particular deal here, this is we're we're selling out. I mean, we're we're looking for this throwback all the way. I mean, that's why we that's why we put the word throwback in here. I mean, we're not truly running mesh. We're not we're not um you know we're not reading this thing out. Again, this this is our quarterbacks are 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 we're, you know we're basically almost telling them where to where to throw the football. But here's a here's a really good one. You know, on the goal line. You'll see that one come back again wide open. There's no one within there's no one within 30 yards of him. Okay. And again, it all just goes down to the system and how we're doing things. And you know, the pass is not something that they're certainly spending a lot of their time on. So you got to be able to take advantage of that in certain situations. Certainly down here on the goal line is one of them. All right. Again, great job. You can see the rub here that we get created by the swing man. 
watch the swingman get vertical, take that coverage. You know, that's critical. Like we almost tell those guys, hey, if they want to collision, you great. You know, everybody but the halfback running the override, hey, they want to bang you and collision you great. That that's you know, that that's gonna free up. That's gonna free up that crosser even more. Here's another example. Again, good hard fake. And again, wide open there, you know, coming across on that crosser. Great two-point play. I mean, really, really good two-point play. It was part of our, you know, part of our two-point package. Uh, you know, really, really good deal. But we do run it in the field. We'll have a clip coming up. We throw a touchdown pass of it off of it into the field on short yardage. And again, it's when you call it, right? If you're going to try to call this on third and 10, it's probably not going to be good. You know, if you're calling it on fourth and two or you're calling it down near the red zone, it's probably going to be good. So here's an example down in distance, right? Fourth down, fourth and three. All right, we got a fourth and three here. We don't use the motion here. We're still in the double A. All right, same deal. Now, the swing man comes a little shallow here. We'd like to see him go deeper. I think he gets routed a little bit. You know, we'd like to see we'd like to see him up over the top and the the uh, tailback coming underneath. But, you know, it certainly worked itself out. But again, he can run it in the in the field of play. Doesn't have to be a be a goal line thing. But again, you can see the quarterback front and out. And again, the throws not doesn't have to be the greatest. He kind of just gets it on his body, so leaving a little bit behind him. But the kid makes a great catch and finds the end zone there. So, you know, it ended up being a being a pretty good deal. Now, 